The more things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. Hey, welcome back lads. So we are now just over three weeks away from the full release of Modern Warfare 2 and so I do want to talk some more about the comparisons of Modern Warfare 2 versus the previous Modern Warfare 2019, which is the better game? Well, we have only played a beta version of Modern Warfare 2 so far, but you can still see and feel how both games are similar to each other as you would expect, but they are somehow different at the same time, like very different. And if you ask me, there is one place where Modern Warfare 2 has already obviously improved and upgraded from the last game and that is the maps and map design. Multiplayer maps are one of if not the most important thing to a game and there were only 10 regular maps or about 10 that launched with Modern Warfare 2019 and most of them were just a bit shit really. Many of them were too big, too messy and designed to help campers. Like they just didn't flow or play well and you can't forget all those damn doors. But here in MW2 the maps that we played in the beta are a clear improvement, they're just more normal if that makes sense, like they're more in the style of what we call the three lane competitive maps that are medium size, but they still feel different to maps that you'd play in Black Ops games or other new Call of Duties, like it, it was described almost perfectly to us months ago in a leak, saying that the maps would go back to being more of a traditional style, but keeping the Infinity Ward flair, no, they feel like maps that you would play in like Modern Warfare 3 or the better maps from COD Ghosts, stuff like that which I think is is good, it's a good thing. So yeah, maps and their designs have a massive impact on the game because apart from that, the games are extremely similar, like the general gameplay design and feeling is practically the same, like in a way repeating the same mistakes too. We know that it's been talked about to death that both MW 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 cater towards camping and punish rushing and aggressive play way too much, right? So it's just kind of like slower paced games and stuff like that, you know, no regular minimap, no dead silence as a perk, that stuff, but I just don't think that's gonna change. So yeah, the gameplay is pretty much identical between two games, pretty much. So I would say because of that, if you liked the last Modern Warfare game, chances are you will surely like this one. But if you're like me and you just did not enjoy the regular multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2019, you might like Modern Warfare 2 because the map design improvement is uh, its a big one. It's a big change and it like changes the experience. So yeah, it is like a massive difference. Not only that, but rumours and leaks tell us that there will be 16 regular maps and 4 ground war maps in Modern Warfare 2 when it fully releases later this month, which is a lot more content than the previous title. Another thing that I really like is the new weapon family tree system thing that is essentially an evolution to the weapon conversions that we saw in the last game. So you can like take the AK as an example and change it into different variants like SMGs and LMGs, stuff like that. And another thing kind of lastly here that I also just like that just came to mind is that you can simply press a button to choose between kill streaks or score streaks so here it gives us for players the choice so yeah I like that and I think I'll do a kind of like updated version of this video a more in-depth one once Modern Warfare 2 has released but yeah that is about that so stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one cheers